Hey guys, may God bless you. So today will be the second day of the Bible study of the book of Jeremiah. So today we'll be going to start from Jeremiah chapter 20. The topic is Jeremiah and Pashur. So my friends, if you can please continue to read with me and then you could get a much more clear understanding regarding these facts. So my friends, today we'll be going to read the most important verses taken from the chapters in the book of Jeremiah. So my dear friends, today we'll be going to start from Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 12 and 13. Please continue to read with me. O Lord Almighty, you who examine the righteous and probe the heart and mind, let me see your vengeance upon them. For to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, give praise to the Lord. He rescues the life of the needy from the hands of the wicked. Now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 10. It is regarding judgment against evil kings. Do not weep for the dead king or mourn his loss. Rather weep bitterly for him who is exiled, because he will never return, nor see his native land again. Now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 13 to 16. Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 13 to 16. Woe to him who builds his palace by unrighteousness, his upper rooms by injustice, making his countrymen work for nothing, not paying them for their labor. He says, I will build myself a great palace with precious upper rooms. So he makes large windows in it, panels, uh, it with, panels it with cedar and decorates it in red. Does it make you a king to have more and more cedar? Did not your father have food and drink? He did what was right and just. So all went well with him. He defended the cause of the poor and needy and so all went well is that not what it means to know me declares the lord now we'll be going to read jeremiah chapter 23 verse 1 to 8 the topic is the righteous branch woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture declares the lord therefore this is what the lord the god of israel says to the shepherds who tend my people because you have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not bestowed care on them i will bestow punishment on you for the evil you have done declares the lord I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out all the countries, out of all the countries where I have driven them, and will bring them back to their pasture where they will be fruitful and increase in number. I will place shepherds over them who will tend them, and they will no longer be afraid or terrified, nor will any be missing, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will rise up to David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called the Lord our righteousness. So then the days are coming, declares the Lord, when people will no longer say as surely as the Lord lives who brought the Israelites up out of Egypt, but they will say as surely as the Lord lives who brought the descendants of Israel up out of the land of the north and out of all the countries where he had banished them, then they will live in their own land. Now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 15 to 16. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty says concerning the prophets. I will make them eat bitter food and drink poisoned water, because from the prophets of Jerusalem, ungodliness had spread throughout the land. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. Now, and now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 18. But which of them has stood in the counsel of the Lord to see or to hear his word, who has listened and heard his voice? In these end times, my dear friends, you should be careful of the false prophets. Amen. And now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 25 to 27. I have heard what the prophets say who prophesy lies in my name. They say, I had a dream. I had a dream. How long will this continue in the hearts of these lying prophets who prophesy the delusions of their own minds? They drink the dreams. They think the dreams. They tell one another will make. They tell one another. They, they think the dreams. They tell one another will make my people forget my name just as their fathers forgot my name through Baal worship. And now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 30 to 20. 30 to 33. In the Bible tells says, Therefore declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who steal from one another words supposedly, supposedly from me. Yes, declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who wag their own tongues and yet declare. The Lord declares, Indeed, I am against those who prophesy false dreams, declares the Lord. They tell them and lead my people astray with their reckless lies, yet I did not send or appoint them. They do not benefit these people in the least, declares the Lord. And now we'll be going to read the Jeremiah chapter uh, 23, verse 33, under the topic of 
false oracles and false prophets. When these people or a prophet or a priest ask you, what is the oracle of the Lord? Say to them, what oracle? I will forsake you, declares the Lord. And now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 31. In the Bible tells us, 25 verse 31. It, the topic is 70 years of captivity. No, sorry, the 31 is under the cup of God's wrath. The tumult will resound to the ends of the earth, for the Lord will bring charges against the nations. He will bring judgment on all mankind and put the wicked to the sword, declares the Lord. And now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 12 to 13. 28, verse 12 to 13. In the other Bible tells us, Shortly after the prophet Hananiah had brought the yoke of the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, Go and tell Hananiah, this is what the Lord says, You have broken a wooden yoke, but in its place you will get a yoke of iron. And now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 9 to 10. The topic is Restoration of Israel. Instead, they will serve the Lord, their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up for them. So do not fear, O Jacob, my servant. Do not be dismayed, O Israel, declares the Lord. I will surely save you out of a distant place, your descendants from the land of their exile. Jacob will again have peace and security, and no one will make him afraid. Now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 7. The topic is... There is no topic. Uh, this is what the Lord says. Sing with joy for Jacob. Shout for the foremost of the nations. Make your praises heard and say, O Lord, save your people, the remnant of Israel. And now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 9. In the other Bible tells us, They will come with weeping. They will pray as I bring them back. I will lead them beside streams of water on a level path where they will not stumble because I am Israel's father and Ephraim is my firstborn son. And now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 28, 29 and 30. Just as I watched over them to uproot and tear down or to overthrow, destroy and bring disaster, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, declares the Lord. In those days people will no longer say, the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Instead, everyone will die for his own sin. Whoever eats sour grapes, his own teeth will be set on edge. Now we'll be going to read Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 34. In the Bible tells us, No longer will a man teach his neighbor or a man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, because they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. So my dear friends, so I hope everything is coherent in today's Bible study. If you have any questions regarding today's Bible study or regarding any past Bible study, feel free to comment down below and I will provide you with the answers. So my dear friends, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the tomorrow's Bible study. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today, tomorrow and always. May God bless you abundantly. Amen.